guys welcome back to my channel i do hope you're doing well now i'm firstly going to apologize if this thumbnail is a complete and utter fail um as you will see from it we have two bags this one down here i can just about manage this one oh my god i can't remember what i've got in here i think it's the drinks but I could barely lift this. So the thumbnail was literally one. <sighs> and that was it. Because we all know I have no upper body strength. Time to get yourself in the gym, girl. But yes, my lovelies, we are here with our Home Bargains Haul of March. And there may be a little bit of Easter bits in here already. Um, my store was well and truly getting in the swing of things. But I didn't want to buy too much too early because... I'm still on the hunt about for some new little Easter bits. So I may have one or two things. But yes, I am going to... I need a break, I think, after trying to lift that. But once I compose myself, we'll get in with our home bargains haul, eh? <laughs> right, so we might as well start with the one that's on here because I physically couldn't lift it. And I've just seen a reason probably why I couldn't lift it. So, my lovelies, the culprit that I think it was, was this big boy. So... Our home bargains, I think it was £2.50 for a standard bottle. And then they had this on offer for £2.99. So it's 55 washes, Comfort Apple Blossom. Now, if that does just not scream spring to you, I mean, oh God, you see that? I almost knocked myself out with it. Firstly, I can't lift it and then I'm trying to knock myself out with it. Shannon Lee, compose yourself, darling. This is the first video I filmed back from the log cabin. So... I'm used to vlogging now. I've had like five days of vlogging where I'm just like, hey, and haven't really done. Oh, I've done one sit down video when I was there. But yeah, I need to get back in the swing because I've got a long day filming ahead of me, my lovely. So 55 washes in this and the smell of it. Blossom, I was a bit like, mm. apple, I was like, yes, please. But it's a very nice balance. You can get the apple, you can get like a bit of the florally blossom. But as we all know, I showed this to Mama G and she was like, that will not last me 55 washes because she said you've got to go buy the caps. But she just pours it in. So don't know if it's going to last 55 washes, probably not. But if you see this on offer, as I say, because I think the big one, I think that should be like a fiver or 450. So you save yourself a couple of quid, eh? Oh, I've actually got quite a good selection in here. Let's have a look. Ah, your girl was happy when she saw these. They actually had a full shelf of them, but I thought, no, we'll just stick with two because I got two last month when I raided the shelves. Two Kerala garlics. These are Canon. No, Canon, you need to focus on the garlic, not the music centre. There we go. Um, I picked two of these up last time. Kerala 49p they do garlic they do herbs spices everything these are like an essential every time i go i need to stock up because me and mama g have garlic on pretty much everything it's great for seasoning it's great just to put on the top of literally everything and anything i even put it on top of my roast dinner don't judge me it is still salt so um <laughs> it's probably not the greatest for you but garlic's good for your heart so that's all uh, I like to think. And 60 grams for 49p. I mean, you won't be catching me paying the prices in like Tesco for the Schwartz and all of that jazz. Corolla, you're good to go, darling. <gasps> Look what I was reunited with. Bunny. The chocolate ones this time. As you all know, I have a tendency to over snack at work. And I'm trying to go from like a whole share bag of Doritos as like an 11 o'clock snack down to something that's a bit more health friendly and body friendly let's just say because i am taking the plunge in the next couple of weeks to join the gym it's starting to get lighter now so when i come home from work it's not pitch black and i think from the time i come home i could walk to the gym so that's my cardio and then maybe have a 45 minute workout and then walk back and that could be it not every day though i mean your girl's not gonna exhaust herself but I need to try and get out of the habit of the crisps. And I'm not going to lie, in the log cabin, I did overindulge. I snacked and I had good food. And I'm not even mad about it. I mean, looking at my waist now, probably is a little bit mad about it. But Barney, 99p for five of you, 20p a Barney. 
it is very addictive though and i still do have to restrain myself to just have the one because i could easily sit and eat two or three but baby steps my lovelies baby steps oh now mr sheen right at christmas from poundland i picked up wipes i just thought mr sheen was like the wood spray no i found wipes and then i saw this and this was one pound 29 multi-purpose surface spray mr sheen plastic metal glass wood in a spring fresh scent so i was a uh, very shocked when i saw that i don't know if it smells of anything can you oh no i'm probably not going to open it because it's probably not safe to that's why there's a big stopper on this shan but yeah mr sheen it seems to be uh coming up and about everywhere don't it and i just think oh i saw it and i thought it's quick and easy just like for the kitchen or because i do need to film a speed clean with me my uh spring speed clean actually and the glass is grubby very very grubby and we all know i don't do glass so um that's where i need mama g's expertise so best believe when you see the speed clean video mama g's gonna be in there too all right and she might give this a go she might sit with her mr muscle I'm not entirely sure we'll have to see eh, my lovies another snack don't moan at me ice gems these are a throwback to literally like I'm going to say like reception time or like year one, like really, really young school lunches. They're 92 calories a pack. You get, is it five packs in here? Oh no, six packs for a pound. And let me know, do you eat the whole thing? Or are you like me who eats all the icing bits and then eats the biscuits last? Yes, I'm probably still a kid. And they do chocolate ones as well. Haven't tried the chocolate ones, but I might potentially pick them up and put them in the trolley when I'm next there. I used to like the uh, unicorn ones like all the pastel colours but i haven't seen them for a while so good old mr mcvitt is you will notice in this haul because obviously i've come back i'm starting work again on monday Woohoo! you tell the excitement in my face so i need to like have something for my holiday blues so yeah there's quite a lot of snacks in it but healthy snacks okay don't judge me ah let's have a look mum said need some uh washing up liquid shannon lee i said okie dokes morning fresh apple fresh by cousins i think that's how you pronounce it they normally do apple or lemon i believe you get this one in nearly all the bargain shops my lovelies but oh lovely oh i just put a bit of my lipstick on it sent with love eh, mum um these really remind me the apple and the lemon ones a dupe for i think it's elbow grease they washing up liquid and that's like 60 70 p morning fresh apple absolutely love it right i did get ah you might think shannon lee why on earth have you bought these these were 39p in the stationery section and they are 145 self-adhesive labels you might think shannon lee why have you got them well not this time round because we've already been to the butchers but the next time when we go to the fishmongers and butchers we're just going to put on what's in there and if say for example we cook and then we freeze any meals just to put maybe like the date they went in and what they are because mum when i was at the love cabin got out what she thought was spaghetti bolognese mixture done her spaghetti and everything and then it turned out to be steak stew so she had steak stew with spaghetti which i mean it still works she still ate it, she told me but i think we need to label because as you all know from who remembers oh that bag i think it was like maybe last year we had a vlog and it's called a day full of food vlog if i remember correctly and we went to iceland food warehouse butchers fishmongers and we literally stocked up so when we go there my lovelies when we go and have a butcher's little session we don't just get a few bits like we go to our butchers probably every three months i'd say for like a big stock up we might pop down maybe once a month on a sunday if we really want like a nice specific joint of meat but normally it's every three months and when they see us coming they're like right get the pen and paper ready because we literally come out with bags and bags we normally end up having to have a few boxes and it has been known on occasions because we walk up there because our butchers is what 10 minutes from us um we have to make several trips because we actually can't carry it all back in uh, one go so yeah when we do it we really stock up and we have all of our bags and they go in and it's little things like chicken breasts so we buy a five kilo box of chicken breasts and i think we get 
20 or 24 in there so we portion some up as a two some up as a three and some up as a four but obviously when they go in it's just kind of judging you might think you've got a three and you've got a four you might think you've got a two and you've got a four like you never know so these are going to come in handy for when we next make our trip to the uh good old butchers right let's get the easter bit out of the way look so this was 2.99 and as i say it was the main thing that like caught my eye i keep seeing everywhere there's like this metal bunny wreath my store hasn't got that yet, so I will be on the hunt out for next month because I think April will be like the proper one filled with all the Easter goodies and the Easter snacks. Mini eggs, eat your heart out, all right? But yeah, I just thought this was absolutely lovely. And for $2.99, I mean, you've got eggs on there, you've got little leaves, you've got little pink flowers. Just how cute is that? I need to actually try and find where our easter decoration box is i was saying this to mum earlier i said i don't know if it's in the shed i don't know if it's under her bed i don't know if it's in the cupboard under the stairs because we haven't got a lot of easter stuff like we don't go all out but i do want to try and build it i have been seeing a lot of tiktoks of home sense and tk max so do i go down there and do a little tk max and home sense haul let me know if you would like to see that. I think you would. But let me know if you wouldn't like to see it. And I'll probably save the temptation of going in and just splurging money unnecessarily. But yeah, I have been seeing a lot of stuff. And I'm like, oh, that'd be so cute. So I'm going to try and maybe get Mother's Day out of the way. And then we'll decorate a little bit for Easter for the month of April. And I have got a big Easter wreath from Next, if you remember last year. But I just thought this would be cute. Don't quite know where it's going to go. That could potentially go in the kitchen. I don't know, but I saw it, I loved it, and I thought it was cute. Right. Ah. Picked these up for Dar Dar again. Sorry if you was listening for headphones. Dexter's Gummy Mix. He's already gone through his ones from last month, so uh, needed a little refresh. Dexter's Gummy Mix, £2 for, is it 400 grams? £2 for 400 grams is still really good because when you think how much you pay for like pick a mix, it don't uh, warrant thinking about, does it, my lovelies? Like if you go to the cinema, the cinema tickets in our areas are like between £5 and £9, depending on what you have. But when you add food into that, a cinema date can cost you about £40. Take your gummy mixture because I remember a time when they used to search your bags. I haven't been to the cinema in years, so please do let me know. Do they still search your bags, or do they let you just walk in now? Because I remember a time when they used to search your bags, and it'd be like, really? Oh, come on, mate. Like, trying to save the pennies here. Cling film, a very basic, very boring, as I say, but this comes in greatly handy. Greatly handy? It's great, and it's handy. <laughs> when we do... The butchers and fishmonger stock up and say so we have the sealed bags but sometimes like if there's just a little bit or something left over cling film is great 50p for 60 meters i mean the prices that you sometimes pay in the supermarket don't even bother i would much rather what is up with my voice today <laughs> I do apologise. Um, I would much rather just go to all the bargain shops and stock up because I get more excited going to a bargain shop than I do going to a supermarket. You might think that's very childish and that's very, like, strange. It probably is, but that's me. I love a good bargain shop. What can I say, eh? Right. Broken record time. Stop the video and say what you think I'm going to say if you know me well. If you go to a bargain shop and you don't get drinks, what on earth are you doing? You're missing out on a bargain, my lovelies. We have some returning. U-G-L-Y. You ain't got no L about. You ugly. Hey, hey. I have to get these every time I see them now. Again, unpopular opinion, they're flavoured sparkling water. I love them. If you don't, don't come for me. But they're great. These are 39 or 49p. Ugly sparkling water. I've got a strawberry one and a lemon and lime. And you know what? I much prefer sparkling water at the moment to still water, which probably ain't good because I'm going to try and like drink a bit more water with being healthy and all that. But yeah, you can't go in there and not get the drinks. Like honestly, 
it is daylight robbery if you walk out of a bargain shop and do not have drinks and while we're on the drink front i have no idea what this is okay but i saw them and i liked them and i'm sure i got something like this last month i don't know if it was the exact same one or a different flavoring but these were three for a pound no was it three or was there more or am i getting confused oh no there's another one ah is it down here oh hang on a minute how many have i got one sec me lovelies right there's plenty more in there so i can't actually remember was it five or six for a pound i thought i got something like this last month oh no didn't i get the fanta blue that's like a blue raspberry flavor but they just call it like fanta who dis or something right so there is another two at least would it be five it's five or six for a quid we're gonna have to look when we go in the next bag but it's called club pat frog and it just says ice lolly flavor cannon there we go so oh my phone's going one second sorry about that my love it was just mama g calling so yeah i think it might be four or five for a pound i don't know i can't even root to the bottom of that bag because that one's just as filled but it's, i'm gonna say at least five because that's what i could see it could be five or six for a pound so it just says ice lolly flavor does it tell you what flavor carbonated apple soft drink so apple ice lolly look if it's five or six for a quid you're not really gonna moan is it because it's like not even 20p a bottle okay so yeah when in there got those Oh, I picked these up. Microfiber cloths. Four for, I think these were 80p. Potentially a pad full price. But you get two yellow and two blue. And these are for the car, okay? No, I haven't had the car cleaned yet because the car guy who comes to our workplace didn't come the week before the cabin when he was due. And I bet you he'd come the week that I was gone. And now I'm going to have to wait another two weeks. But... I did have a little bit of a tidy up in bug. I changed her air freshener. I put on her wheel trims. Who says you need a man to put on wheel trims, eh? My neighbours were looking at me very, very weirdly. And I was just like, bothered on my hands and knees, putting my little cable tires through, cutting it through. Happy go lucky as you go. So yes, had that, saw these and thought these are great just to like keep in the car if something gets a bit little muddy or dirty or anything like that. So yeah, 80p or a pound for four microfiber cloths more snacks i didn't get these for me however i did get these for dada because they are sriracha and sriracha i think is spicy if i remember correctly so they are 102 calories per serving and i think you get about four servings in this and they're chickpea rice and sweet potato snacks popped not fried these were 99p my lovelies but i don't think dada's going to be happy that they're not actually crisps like that chickpea rice and sweet potato but that's spicy so it shouldn't really matter but yeah hot chip veg vibes i've seen something like that in like a non-spicy flavor but they didn't have any and so i thought saw that pick them up it'd be happy to go air freshener time obviously we're coming into spring me and mama g we still like to even have our air fresheners a little bit more spring like limited edition glade happy lucky lilac notes of lilac and four leaf clover this was one pound yet again. Should we give it a little whiff? Oh, very fresh. I don't know what lilac smells like. Because, <laughs> don't laugh at me. I always thought lilac was just a colour. Just smells like fresh. Like you've been in a forest. Oh well. For a pound, it looks cute. It's lilac. It looks very nice. Did we need this? No. Did I see it and fall in love? Because the shower gel of it is just absolutely incredible. If you have not seen this, my lovelies, it's Imperial Leather Disco Fever. Sugared berries and moon dust. So this is the hand wash. And as I say, this was one pound. Last month, I got the shower gel. But 
if you like sweet sweet sugary stuff this is what you need so yeah i uh love the shower gel so much saw it walked in and mama g was like sham we don't need any more hand washes she was like the sink is filled with hand washes i was like but you haven't got a disco fever one have you mama g so i'm just having your best interests at heart all right it smells lovely it's nourishing for your hands what's not to love and then the last two things i got my lovelies was from that i think it's like neutral natural hair collection so i picked up this hair clamp it says made with biodegradable starch now i love it because it looks like really rustic and just neutral authentic kind of like spa like you know and this was one pound so now the hair's getting a bit longer and the hair's been done i am going to try and make an effort with it you know and then i got the paddle brush for 2.99 and it says made with biodegradable wheat straw so again very neutral very natural a nice thick handle there's nothing worse than when you're doing your hair and it's like a flimsy handle ain't it but yeah i just thought that was very very nice and as i say they had this whole section of biodegradable neutral natural items and picked two up but i'm probably gonna end up picking some more up because they had like nail files some hair toggles hair ties everything like that so yes that was the last thing out of this bag so this one is done that was rubbish weren't it and let's get on with the second bag right so moving on to the second bag let's try and lift it up again shall we oh, that one's not too bad this has got something heavy in it that you're probably going to shout at me for but hi my name's shannon and i'm addicted to all of these things so if you know me by now please don't judge right where we're going to start i wanted some new makeup brushes wanted some new makeup brushes these were 2.99 my lovelies for the set right so you've got makeup brushes set of four eyeshadow blending brush powder brush contour brush and eyeshadow shading brush i just liked them because they was blingy i just thought they were really cute so yeah treating myself to some new little brushes where can you go go there and please don't smash the eggs <laughs> please don't smash the eggs i'm very like because i've been in the log cabin i was having the heating on like 35 degrees every day so i'm used to being like nice warm and toasty obviously in my room i don't have the heating on because my radiator is behind my mirror so i'm getting like a little bit of a cold the first day i'm back which is just great and marvelous so yeah apologies for like the little sniffles your girl was getting better and then now she took a step back essential if you do not know about these my lovelies you need to get to know all right health point spectacle and lens wipes 52 for one pound you can get these home bargains b m poundland savers savers was actually the first place that i ever saw these and yeah i have to pick one up every time because every day i probably go through like two or three that's so so handy you don't realize how filthy your glasses are that's gonna fall no it's not until you actually clean them and then you're like oh my god so every morning i clean them when i'm before i go to work i clean them in work i clean them before i go to bed you probably think why are you cleaning them before you go to bed and then you clean them when you wake up because it's just like through the daily morning like i'm very clumsy when i'm brushing my teeth and normally get toothpaste on my glasses sometimes the electric toothbrush goes wild and everything flies around okay don't judge me when this. um i've got these for mama g I think these were 60 or 70p minestrone with croutons, slimmer soup. Now, we all know I don't really like cup of soups because I can find them a bit piddly. But, I mean, mum, she's happy with it. I much prefer like a nice tin of Heinz. <gasps> Heinz tomato soup. Or even better, homemade soup if I can be bothered. That is why I miss the autumn. However, the weather is cold. The weather is miserable at the moment. So... I mean, I might even crack open and do a shoe and a soup this weekend. That might be one. Because currently the wind is still really bad down south. And I don't know why. Like, there's no rain. It is literally just wind. However, if we're talking about rain, I speak more about it on my log cabin vlog. The rain driving from Warwick to Cumbria was horrendous. Like, actually to the point where i thought i need to pull into a service station because it started to spit and then all of a sudden 
it just went like flash flood to the point where you've got your lights on your fog lights on your window wipers are having like a fit they're going absolutely mental and you still can't see in front of you because of the spray it was bad like as i say i did think shan do you pull him but then it carried on i'd probably say on and off for a good hour and then um there was an accident on the motorway so they shut that i had a two hour diversion it was just a complete nightmare so i thought my god if i'd have stopped in the services i don't even know what time i would have ended up getting to the cabin but yeah that's uh that will all be explained so yeah not a fan of the rain at the moment my lovelies unfortunately <gasps> Pick these up from Mama G as well. One pound for power action. 30 sheets, all-purpose cloths on a roll. Nothing really more to say about that. I think Mum calls these. Are these like J cloths or blue cloths? Well, obviously blue cloths, they're, but they're blue. I don't know. I think it's like J cloths she calls them. I'm not entirely sure. They're the ones that, like, if there's something really messy, she just does what needs to do, and then in the little bin it goes. We all know how much you girl loves tonic. And again, a little sneak peek into the log cabin. I may or may not have done something with gin. So this tonic is going to come in very, very handy. $1.99, my lovelies, for eight cans of Eden Bay tonic. This one is the Indian tonic water. Last month, I think I got original and Mediterranean. I much prefer the little cans or say like the mini bottles compared to the big bottles because once you open it, it starts to go flat and I can't drink a whole like litre of tonic water so the little cans do me just fine she says as she chucks on the floor <laughs> again broken record time go to a bargain shop you've got to pick up their rices 49p my lovelies so I've got golden vegetable this month golden vegetable and these are great if say you just want a quick dinner or as i say i am known to just pop these in the microwave and have a bag of this for my lunch at work if i'm not particularly hungry you can't go wrong you can get like quinoa you can get um pulses you get beef rice pila egg fry like there's literally tons normally i do get a lot more but i was good this month i only got the one yeah i only got the one i think it's because like i laded my laded I loaded, I was trying to say laden, I don't know why I was saying, thinking laden, hey ho, it's because I'd loaded my trolley up with uh, the drinks, so yeah, just one little pack of rice that can go on the floor, and then, oh, snacks, as I say, trying to be healthy, so we're coming away from the share bags, my heart is saddened by that, even as I spoke it, but six packs of Space Raiders for a pound, got the beef flavour, and these are great because they are about, about 64 calories a bag. But once again, it's the urge to not just have one bag. And no offence, Space Raiders, all right? But you don't even fill the bag up fully. You fill it about three quarters. So you could potentially have two bags and not feel as bad because it's only really like one and a half bags. But yeah had to pick these up just wanted like a little savory snack for me you know because being the good daughter that i am i saw these for mama g and thought might as well treat her we all know she is addicted to peanut butter okay and ever since christmas when i got her like a reese's selection she just absolutely loves it i think she wants a reese's easter egg this year so i'll have to be on the hunt for this but i saw this now these were two pound i believe so a little bit pricey but it's branded it's snickers they are 10 snickers creamy peanut butter bars 95 calories per one so she's gonna be very very happy when she sees this i mean just look at that that don't really float my boat but if you are a peanut butter lover it looks like it's crunchy peanut butter so yeah see how she goes on that and again she'll probably be like well if they're only 95 for one i might as well have a couple go and eat your heart's content right how many more bottles have we got in here three so one two so it was six six for a pound i mean you just you can't go wrong can you as i say i've got no idea what it tastes like but it says an apple ice lolly carbonated drink i'm just trying to fit these on my dressing table without uh knocking the whole entirety off but if it's just for hydration and you don't like it, you're not going to moan six for a quid, are you? 
I mean, that's just mind blown, okay? Mind blown. Ba, 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 ba. Hungry hippo time! These are the original hazelnut ones. One pound, one pound for five. As I say, you do get the chocolate ones as well, but I thought because I've got the chocolate Barneys, I had the original Hungry Hippos. These and Barneys are like my sugar cravings when I'm trying to be healthy. They are 122, also a little bit more than Barney, but they taste so good. They taste so good, and I'm so, so happy. I would literally just like to have like a drawer filled with Barney and Hungry Hippos. Hungry Hippos? Happy Hippos. Hungry Hippos? What's That's a game, ain't it? Is that a like a, not a board game but something where like you used to flick the hippo's mouth to try and catch the balls oh my god i'm regressing into my childhood here look at me go and then i picked up these three bath and body sponges for 50 or 60p i believe there is a purple pink and yellow i just thought these were good they say that they're massage sponges but i thought these are good because I'm trying to give mum like a full body exfoliation, okay? Um, as we all know, she has quite bad like eczema and that and has done ever since she was a child, I think. She's had eczema and asthma since she was about four years old. And I keep saying to her, mum, you need to like exfoliate your body. And she's like, oh, I haven't got time or I don't know how to do it. So I've tried the exfoliating gloves with my exfoliant and she finds them a bit too rough. So I thought, could maybe try this because it's got kind of the coarser side on that bit. And then the soft sponge to rinse it off after. So, yeah. Those are partly for me and partly for Mama G. All to do a good D-Day. Picked this up for Dada. You would have seen these many, many a time. I still don't know if it's Indi Grand or Indie Grand. These are 80 or 90p because they're the glass version. Which are really, really snazzy, okay? You can get the sauces in the bag for 60p. But with this, you get the sauce. And then you also get a spice seasoning mix on the top. So, Dada really likes this. I got this one in Madras. As we all know, he loves a good spicy curry. So, he has Madras. I've got him, like, Vindaloo before. He's had quite a lot. But he does prefer the glass jar because you get the sauce mixture. And with the spices, like, he can marinate his chicken and all of that in it before. But, yeah how snazzy i mean if you did like spice and say someone's birthday was coming up or even for mother's day if your mum likes a nice bit of spice you could get like a few of these and do like a little hamper how cute would that look my god mother's day is coming around very soon ain't it is it it's end of march or like third sunday in march i've still got no idea what i'm gonna get mama g i've got some little bits and bobs and then because she keeps saying she wants to go for afternoon tea again so i might have a look see if i can get that booked i was thinking of booking another show potentially but i think i might do that for her birthday don't go spoiling her surprise because i've seen a good few shows that i want to see as well so i might as well use the excuse that it's mom's birthday and i know she wants to see a few so yeah let me know what are you doing for mother's day are you having any plans or are you just having a chill day as i say we normally do something in the mornings for nana g whether that be going to the grave and having a little road trip or we might just like have a favorite breakfast or something like that so we incorporate our mamas who are no longer here like the mamas in heaven and obviously nana's in heaven um yeah we just have a really nice day so we will be vlogging it because there's always a Mother's Day vlog on this uh, channel, ain't there, my lovely? So, uh, yeah, probably going to include a lovely good roast dinner. And then if we have a dessert, probably a trifle, because that's what my nan used to always have. So, yeah, you'll notice we have the trifles at Christmas as well. Good old nana G. Little, um, poof, poof, refill the dupe for the Glade Airwick. Mine is Glade. I think that reads Glade. I think it's Glade, but... You're not going to be catching me pay like three, four pounds. These are 99p, my lovelies. Now, not my usual scent. We all know I normally go for the citrus one, but it said lavender. Now, it don't really matter when it's going off when I'm not here because it will probably disintegrate. But I thought this could be quite nice for coming into bedtime and it might try and help me sleep because lavender's supposed to be soothing and all of that, ain't it? So, yeah, up to 70 days freshness. Currently, I've got the uh, citrus sing in there, the yellow one I normally get, and oh, when it poofs, it is just delicious. Another two drinks I picked up. These I'm still as fascinated with as the first time I saw them. 
Flavita. So these are 60p, I believe, per little uh, patch. They are a plastic spongy bottle, but they've got a steel lid. I mean, this still fascinates me, okay? They are sparkling water once again. I've got mojito and mango, but they're not sparkling water as in the ugly sparkling water. These are kind of more, even though they say sparkling water, it just reminds me of like a fizzy drink. You're just drinking like a flavoured fizzy drink. But yeah, absolutely love these. And I say, again, every time I go there, I have to pick them up. Ah, because I'm addicted. And I've literally run out of space now on my uh, unit. Can we fit you in there? Am I just going to knock everything off my skincare bit? Probably. There we go. And then, these were, I think, £1.20 again. Haribo Authentic Pontifract Cakes soft licorice now i don't really do licorice but these are for dada and when mum saw them she was like oh they look quite snazzy i don't actually know what they are though i think they're just they feel like just little round discs of licorice that's what they feel like i mean we'll all see i mean if he eats it and it's actually a cake inside he's probably not going to like a licorice actual cake but yeah i think they're just like little rounds of licorice so yeah those were for dada and then ah oh, essential 70 or 80p 40 pedal bin liners these are what i use for the bin in the bathroom my bin and then my little uh recycling like the makeup bin that i got the revolution one in the sale but yeah Again, some of the prices you can pay in Tesco's for like bags and rub blah 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 blah. Rubbish bags is ridiculous. And then the last thing, my lovelies, is a returning favourite. You've just seen a little sneak peek of it there. This is one pound. And I just absolutely love it. It is the Astonish Body and Soul Refreshing Golden Glow Bath Soak Peach. Now, I have had this many a times before. Who remembers when I first got it? And I was like, oh my God, it's Astonish. Astonish is disinfectant. I hope it doesn't burn my skin. I can safely say it does not burn your skin, okay? But if it's anything peach and watermelon coming into these months, your girl is there for it. And it is one litre for a pound. A litre for a pound. I mean, like, come on. And it's vegan. So, so good. And absolutely love it. The pink one that I got last month. I think I showed it in my February monthly favourites. That's pretty much gone. I've probably got two more baths out of that. Absolutely love it. Cannot go wrong. If it's peach, it's going in the trolley. And what a thing to end on, eh? My lovelies, that is this month's haul done. <laughs> so, next month I think we will be well and truly in the Easter swing okay I think there will be a lot more Easter little decorations obviously there's going to be Easter chocolates mini eggs just come to mama okay um yeah but I think we've introduced it slowly we've got a nice spring uh soft fabric conditioner detergent thing the comfort we've got the reef We've got some nice little lilac scented things and I've found out that lilac was a scent and not just a colour. We've got some snacks. That's what your girl's happy about. She's got her snacks. She's got her tonics. Mama G's got some treats. Dada's got some treats. And yeah, it's just a uh, overall good little haul. I'm going to address a little comment that I had as well in a prior video just before we round this up, okay? So in the haul that Mama G done where Mama G picked up my outfits from Primark, I had a comment from a lovely individual of whom I've never seen comment on my videos before, but they wanted to leave their little jibe in, okay? And you know your girl, your girl responds. I'm not one to be deleting comments. I just respond and put an end to it. And she said that I come across really ungrateful and that um, my mum spends her money so i should be grateful with what she's bought me and not be a little spoiled b to the i to the ch yeah let's clear this up okay any videos that involve mum or anyone else at all and it involves in buying things for example they do not pay for that so mama g yes she went to primark and i said to her pick three outfits for me three that you think like i'd like but 
I give her my card. Please do not think if you see any types of videos where mum buys my outfits or anything like that or anyone else buys my outfits that they are paying. I pay for all of those videos. I pay for all of the bits in there. And likewise with these hauls, people might think, well, you've bought this, but then like you've got that and you've got that and your mum, whatever, or your mum will moan at that. I pay for all of my hauls, okay? Everything on this channel I pay for, whether it's hauls, days out, pretty much all of the days out, I pay for. So when, say, for example, we haven't done it yet, but when the weather's a bit better and we go into London, say, for example, to the museums, I will pay for that. Mum might buy lunch or something, but I will pay the initial, I don't know, entry fees, everything like that, because it's good that mum helps me out with the videos because she's the only one you see on the channel, but she still likes to, like, put her little... She likes to give back, all right? So say if I bought the tickets for somewhere or I buy the show tickets, she'll always want to buy the little lunch. But please don't think that... I say, that griped me a little bit because I'm not ungrateful by no shape or mean. And even if mum had bought them with her own money, I would still have the same opinion. If I don't like something or something's a bit tight, I'm not going to beat around the bush. You know me, I'm very open on this channel, all right? So yeah, anything that you see on here, if there's challenges that involve money, for example, like... Say, for example, when we do the food challenges, 24 hours eating Easter food, for example, I will buy all of that food because obviously mum's not going to go out and like, say, for example, at Christmas, mum would never go out and buy 14 boxes of mince pies in a week from different places. Come on, let's be real, all right? So I pay for all of that. She does sometimes, bless her, say for like with the mince pies, she had a whole box. One of them, she was like, oh my God, I think it was the... Was it the Aldi or Lidl, the brandy butter ones? She absolutely loved them. So she polished that off. And she was like, oh, I've put a couple of quid in your piggy bank. Because I do, I, I know I'm still 26, but I still do have a piggy bank, okay, for like loose change. Don't laugh at me. And I was like, why? She was like, well, like you've paid for it all. And she just put a little couple of quid to cover it. So the moral of this little rant, please don't think when you see these challenges that other people are paying or like having to pay to be on these videos. I pay everything on this channel. Everything within the halls, like the bargain shop halls, I buy as treats or sometimes the only things that mum will pay for will be like the cleaning stuff or like the stuff for the house. But the majority of time, like the treats for Dada, I pay. The treats for mum, I'll pay. So I am very generous. So when I saw that and it said that I was ungrateful, I thought you could not be any further from the truth, darling, okay? And I said my response and I didn't have a response. I am the most generous person. I think I take after Nan G like that. Nan used to say, if I ain't got it, you can't have it. But if I've got it, you can have it. Like if I've got a tenner and someone needed nine pound and was in like need of it, I'd give them that tenner. I'd say, keep the change, whatever. So yeah, when I saw then it said ungrateful, that did get my back up because I'm not ungrateful. I'm very generous and anyone who knows me knows that I will help anyone out. I'll do anything for anyone, help it. So yeah, when I saw that, I was like, hmm. So a little Shaniqua come out and just, I wasn't rude. I was very to the point to say, I don't appreciate you calling me a B to the I to the CH. And I don't appreciate you saying me that I'm ungrateful. And actually, I do pay for everything on these hauls. I give mum my card and I say, go, like, go wild. And she did go wild a bit, bless her. I was just like, oh, she actually done really good. So also, those videos will be like a little reoccurring. I think every month, it will be one month I'll buy something for mum. And then next month, she'll buy something from me. But we will still have our regular Primark hauls every month anyway. But yeah, little rant over. I just wanted uh, to clear things up on there if anyone was wondering. But yes, if you did enjoy the video, guys, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. As I say, leave me a comment, your favourite, best bit of the haul again. What items are you liking? Have you started buying any more Easter decor? Have you tried these apple ice lolly drinks? I've got no idea what they are, but hey-ho, we're going to give it a go. Indie grand, indie grand. Any other snacks you think I could have? So we've got Hungry Hippos, Barney's. I do normally have skinny whips, but last time I went, obviously, I overloaded on skinny whips, so I kind of avoided those ones, but yeah. All in all, a very, very good haul. I am happy. I'm excited for next month because, obviously, Easter is coming, so then we can be... I won't be dressed in black next month. I will try and be, like, a bit more spring-like. I feel I look very autumnal, but hey-ho. We're just going to go with it, okay? So, yes, take care. Stay safe, as always, my lovelies, and I shall see you Tuesday for a brand new video, which is...
don't quite know yet. All right. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.